It wasn't just engineering, it was just mostly science and the impact of scientists on our daily lives, basically. When you go to school, you read about, at the time was Louis Pasteur, Einstein, and so on. And so you start thinking about all these great people and the contributions they have made to the society, not necessarily just making things better, but to discovery. You have one kilogram of a solid, okay? If you heat it sufficiently, it becomes a liquid. It melts. So this liquid has more energy than liquid because you had to heat it to get there. Heat the liquid, what do you get? You get a gas. So this gas has more energy per unit mass than the liquid. Heat the gas, you get a plasma. So plasma has more energy than all matter that we know. And nine, over 99.9% .9 of matter in the universe is in the form of plasma. Coating, as the name suggests, is a layer on a surface. The easiest example of it is a paint, a spray painting of your walls. That is a coating so that you protect the wall from different things and so on. Now, if you go to applications which need a more stringent requirement because the, the surface is subjected to a lot of hard conditions. For example, if you go into a boiler, high temperatures can cause a lot of damage to the wall of the boiler. Also, they can do corrosion at high temperatures many different things may happen. So you need coatings which can withstand those kind of harsh conditions. When you build an engine which is based on combustion, the higher the temperature you can achieve, the better efficiency you have. So you, to get the same power, you spend less fuel, which is very good. But the problem that we have is materials they cannot withstand very high temperatures. So we have been forced to operate the engines at lower temperatures. So in order to be able to go to higher temperatures, you have to be able to shield your walls from high temperatures by materials which can withstand those temperatures. Spray painting or this, is all about individual droplets hitting the surface, and in this case, they solidify. So this coating is agglomeration of millions and millions and millions of these droplets hitting. So the building block of the coating is individual droplet impact. These powders are very small, 50 micrometer on the average size, which is 20 of them next to each other, one millimeter, so it's very, very, Time. Now we have wonderful computer programs that can tell you exactly if you have a droplet of certain size with this material's property and this uh, impact velocity hitting this surface, what will happen to them. The healthcare acquired infections is a big problem. In Canada, between 8,500 to 12,000 people a year uh, die from going to a healthcare facility, getting an infection there, and becoming ill. Copper and its alloys like bronze, brass, is well known that they have antibacterial properties. So this I have in my hand example of copper or brass which was deposited on 
a metal substrate, as you can see, very thin amount. So the good thing here is that it's not bulky. You put one third or one fifth of a millimeter because what is important is not the thickness of it, but that on touch, it kills the bacteria. Engineering is an exciting area. It's a wonderful, it's just your imagination, whatever you want to do. You do need uh, to be able to solve problems methodologically. So that means studying math, physics, science is very, very encouraging in, in these things. So that when you come to university, you're ready to go.